Hi, this is Jenny from 21 Songs in 6 Days, Learn Ukulele the Easy Way. Please visit our YouTube channel, 21 Songs in 6 Days, for more videos like this. Or you can like us on Facebook or Google+, or you can tweet us at Jenny at Ukulele.io, or you could visit our website at ukulele.io. I'm going to be showing you how to play Good Riddance, Time of Your Life by Green Day. Now a caveat, I have transposed the song into an easier key for my voice and the ukulele. So I use a C chord, an F chord, a G7 chord, and an A minor chord. The um, Green Day uses a strumming pattern sort of like this. And that slowly is down. common pattern used um, and until you get it you can just do strum two or even strum one because as long as you're keeping your hand moving evenly on the B it's not too far to have the other strums because they're in the B. That last one confused me down, down, up, up, down, up. You do that you do a constant down up with your hand. It's just some of them are in the air and some of them are on the uke. And that's how you learn that pattern. It takes a while. Then the other pattern that's really pretty that I will try to add in the interludes of the song is called finger finger uh, finger plucking, or it has this fancy name. I can't remember exactly what it is. But what I do is I leave my chord, my C chord, and I use my thumb for the str strings three and four and three, and I use my index finger for. My, strings uh, one and two. Or sometimes I use my middle finger. So I do out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, two, four. Then I would switch my chord. So my left hand is not doing anything different than what is notated in the song. But my right hand is doing this very beautiful string at a time kind of playing. And keeping the rhythm of the song going. Now the way the song starts is it starts with an eight measure introduction. You have two measures of C, one measure of F, one measure of G7, and then you repeat it. When you get to each of the interludes, you do the same thing. I'm going to throw in the fancy strumming patterns in the interludes when I'm not singing for you to work with, but basically I'm just going to do strum two, and I'm going to start with strum two so that you get the beat of the song. So I'll count it off, and then you can follow along on the chords by the side or the words under and the words underneath, and see if you can learn the song. I won't play it too fast or sing it too fast. One, two, three, four.
enjoy that. I mix the strumming patterns up. You can feel free to do that or just stay on a simpler one. It really doesn't matter. I was trying to show that if you change strumming patterns in the middle of a song, you can make the song more interesting. Obviously, the people who play the songs do that all the time because they're really good and adept at it and they want different strumming patterns to create different moods within the song. So remember to like us on Facebook, visit us at our YouTube channel, and if you enjoy this lesson, we also have a book that you can get on Amazon. Thank you!